most people in life have resources that allow them to live their lives. They are working in some capacity to develop an income. They are trying very hard to be able to do these things because it's essential to be able to eat and sleep and have shelter in this world. When we don't have those three things, it's a little tough to stay clean. It's a little tough to be smelling perfectly. And it's a little tough to produce for us or ourselves the most healthiest of meals. When we're eating out of cans because we have no stove or no microwave to access, we have to look at what's the best meal for ourselves. We have to know how to find that. But only our angels in the heavens above know how to do that. And only if they give and receive permission basically with from Lord God to do it you see I can get all sorts of prophetic gifts without any problem without even looking but the truth is if you don't believe I have them it doesn't matter whether or not I have them or not I know that people who have taken my advice have gone on to great success but for those who haven't that's on them they chose not to implement they chose to wait to waste time they chose to avoid the relationship they chose to do a lot of things but in truth there's nothing that uh, surprises me more is when someone comes up and say hey I heard you can do this would you mind giving me a reading and then they take their own notes then I'm not reliable for what they decide to write down but they might get some new ideas that they never had before that's probably why my marketing business is so good for me because as a consultant and as a political consultant I literally can just say what I think say what I feel express that in a way that makes sense to an audience and help someone to reword their presentations so that they make a splash now, in life, we have moments of time to help another person. We also have moments of time to say, listen, I can't help you, and here's why. But too many people are so fast to say no that it makes it difficult to carry on in life if you've lost a job, if you have no income, and you're still simply struggling. There are other people who take advantage of it and say, aha, you didn't do this. That's not true. It's just this moment in time that that's going on. Another few moments, I'll be back on my feet. But only with the help of people. We have huge religious organizations, lots of not-for-profits where people hang out, all sorts of bars and other places where people congregate. And we're not doing the same skills that we did long ago in social clubs. We are not introducing ourselves. We are not finding out what people do. We're not exchanging business cards for future connections. We are not doing the right things. Now, this has been Blake Ensign of Blaze Communications saying thanks for listening.